Hello everyone. Today I'd like to show you how to make a puzzle cube using Tinkercad. Just log into your account and hit create new design. Then we're gonna edit the grid. So we're gonna use bricks. Okay. So that my box will fit one of those boxes. It's not a very big deal, but uh, this way it is easier to move the uh, brick, uh, the, uh, the cube. Okay. Uh, and it's um, it might be easier to make some calculations. So, so I what uh, what I plan is to make three by three by three cube. So we will need twenty seven of these, which is three times three times three, right? So first, let's make. Uh, you can either hit the here, uh, click there, uh, or Control D. So I'm just gonna say Control D, and use the arrow key to move two steps to the left okay and then if I hit ctrl D again you see that uh, the it created a new uh, cube and it moved to one uh, left okay so then I'm gonna select all this three I'm say then ctrl D and hit the uh, up arrow key twice and then I'd say control D again. Now I have the base. Okay. Then I can choose all of these. Okay. Control D copies all those nine blocks or cubes and hit a couple of times like, okay. And then I, if I say control D again, I will have another uh, set of blocks. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I need to stack them, right? So uh, one way to do this select uh, so we can maybe keep the one on in the middle. So I'm just gonna use these nine blocks. I'm gonna group them first because I want to move them all together. So then there is this uh, like a um, cone or if you look at from sideways, it's like a triangle. So if you click on that and hold the mouse key and move it, okay. Uh, so these are two, okay. So the height of this should be two, right? So it is uh, just above the those these blocks. So then use the arrow key to move there, okay. Then I'm holding the uh, mouse uh, wheel and then to move the uh, then you can click on this blocks uh, this grouped block and then you can say ungroup you can do this anytime then let's look at from the top select this nine blocks group them again okay then click on the view cube the front hold the triangle use the arrow key to align okay and then you can say ungroup so now we have our cube get from different angles so make sure everything is aligned right okay uh, i can select everything and move this to the center okay somewhere near the center i'm not sure about that now uh, what we're gonna do is so these are individual cubes, right? So what I can do is choose uh, some of these individual cubes and group them together. So they will make the pieces, okay? So for instance, I can hold the shift key. So you need to hold the shift key on the keyboard and select uh, some pieces. So if you played Tetris before, this is one of the famous shapes, right? Then you, after you select the cubes, individual cubes, you say, just say Control G, and then you may want to change the change the color. Then that's one of our piece. Okay. Then I can just move this out, right? Yep. The the others they just left there, and here. I can choose this. I can just move this away, like sideways, and 
I can have this piece, right? Okay, and then this one. Yep. Control G and change the color to this, right? And then I can move this away. Okay, that's another piece. Here's uh you can do something. Yep, another famous shape. So you may want to look at from hold the shift key, don't forget that. And group those, change the colors. Okay. Yep. This is another piece. Okay. And what else we can do? Hmm. Maybe I can choose, I can make a plus shape, group it, and change the colors. So I have this piece, okay? So one of the important thing is, if you are planning to 3D print this, um, you make sure that the individual cubes, they should have a um, common side, okay? For instance, if I just choose this piece and this piece, the only connection is the line over here, which is not going to be a good connection point. After the 3D printing, they may, you know, get separated, they might fall off. So, you need to plan that. So, let's continue with another piece. So, we can have this. Group it and change the colors, then move it. Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think I made a mistake. This is my third time and every time I make, I got different pieces. So, you see this one, this piece over here. That's not gonna work well, pretty good. Okay, what should we do? So we can, we can do Control Z. Okay, then that means I should say ungroup. Okay, so I need to choose a different shape. Let's see what I can do. I can do another L or something like this. Okay, so let's select this as a purple. So this time I select this. I think your students might be more creative than myself. This was easier before. Okay. Um, Select this. No, no, it seems I failed to select them. So hold shift. Oh, they are already grouped. For some reason. Okay, so I started over. Control G, they are grouped. Uh, change the colors. So, yeah. No, doesn't look bad. Yeah. So, this is how you can create the puzzle cubes. Uh, the last thing is to prepare for 3D printing. That's gonna be for the next video. Okay. And 
I hope you enjoyed this video.